The capital region of Denmark has over 20 healthcare research groups of the highest international calibre. Pioneering research is carried out at the region's hospitals in close cooperation with commercial partners, companies and universities. This work generates value and growth through innovation and collaboration, benefiting citizens and patient care. In this film we visit three of the groups whose research and treatment results have made an impact internationally. The Danish Multiple Sclerosis Centre is located at Rigshospitalet. It treats 2,000 patients a year. The DMSC conducts intensive research to improve our understanding of the disease and arrive at the most effective therapies. Currently we are trying to find effective treatments for the progressive forms of MS. Uh, there are no real good treatments for this form and uh, fortunately we have been able to show that one of the treatments that we use for the early forms of MS also seem to be effective in progressive MS. The DMSC focuses primarily on translating research into practice, ensuring that Danish patients benefit from new therapies as early as possible. It's very important that we are close to the patients because when we do research in the laboratory and we find new things, we're able to bring them into the daily practice in our department. Much of the DMSC's research is a joint effort with other partners. These include research groups and corporations, often in an international setting. Denmark is a small country and even though we collaborate with other MS clinics and research centers in Denmark, this is not enough. So we have an extensive network of collaboration with particular European centers, both intellectually, but also in practice regarding clinical trials. Another research environment to make its mark internationally is the Institute of Sports Medicine Copenhagen at Bispebjerg Hospital. It treats sports injuries in some 7,000 patients a year and leads the field in sports medicine. Its research aims to improve therapies for injuries caused by acute and chronic mechanical loading and for acute injuries to tendons and muscles. We're constantly trying to translate the research and the research findings we have into the clinical treatment and guidelines for the patients. And uh, we really think it's, a, it's an advantage that we have both researchers, surgeons, physicians, physiotherapists, and that we can work together both on the research and developing the clinical guidelines for the patients. One field currently in the spotlight is bioengineering, where new cells are cultivated using cells from the patient. The clinic expects a great deal of this particular research. We're currently trying to develop uh, artificial tendons and uh, it's really our hope that uh, the findings that we have now can uh, develop into some artificial tendon and ligaments that can be used uh, with surgery to, to help the patients. Hairlew Hospital is home to the CCIT Research Centre, the Centre for Cancer Immune Therapy. It conducts research into how the immune system can be used to treat cancer and into the defects that prevent the immune system from recognizing cancer cells and killing them. We are actually the first center in Europe to establish this kind of T-cell therapy. We have both the facilities for the intensive patient care, but also the laboratories for isolation and propagation of the T-cells. We are known for our unique cancer vaccines as well as other immune-based therapies. These have all been made possible due to our ability to translate basic research findings into clinical trials. The center's ability to lift research from the laboratory into the clinic is outstanding. We aim for a fast clinical integration of new therapies and we are actually able to integrate new therapies within weeks. For example, recently we were able to treat melanoma patients with a human antibody just three weeks after the publication of the phase three study. We are now taking the lead on a large clinical trial in order to get EMA approval for broad implementation on a European level. The purpose of the Capital Region's constant focus on healthcare research and innovation is to ensure that its citizens are offered the best treatments and patient experience. By being part of partnerships and international networks, the Region intends to remain to the fore in its research achievements and patient therapies benefiting citizens and society both in Denmark and abroad.